Hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Yeah, thanks to Kreutchen, I think it is, sorry for that, who asked for this review on the old Weaver Chroma. So a little few caveats here. This is obviously a eight month old Chrome Weaver here, so you can see some wear on the keypad. Um, but you know, I've been hammering it pretty badly on uh, BF1 beta and uh, many other games. So let's just talk about this. So did I once have this as a traditional replacement for the keyboard? No, originally I've been quite skeptical. I've never really wanted a game bad. I've always been very much on the keyboard side of things. I've been using keyboards for I don't know, 25, 30 years. And uh, my girlfriend said to me, look, why don't you get a uh, gamepad Nostroma? And anyway, she convinced me to, to use the Nostroma back in I don't know, 2010, maybe, but don't quote me on that. And ever since, I've never looked back. So I used the Nostroma, wore it to death, decided to upgrade to the old Weaver Mechanical and the original green and black. So I had green lit, basically, standard razor colours. And then the Chroma came out, so I took a Chroma on board. Both of them have been good. I've been using this old Weaver, I guess, for the last two to three years. So let me start with the bad. There's only five keys at the top, and I generally use 01 as the escape key, so I only have two, three, four, five left, and that's generally what I use for the F keys. So if I'm playing like Armour or Daisy or BF, I generally won't have F keys because I have to move position in vehicles generally, or I need additional positioning on the tool belt so like you might use four five six as different weapons or to holes to get and that's kind of what bugs me a little bit is like i sometimes have to go back to my keyboard because i don't have that additional level of keys it's not really an old weaver's fault you know you can't cram that amount of keys into that full keyboard you might be able to macro it somehow but one of my little things maybe you could use one of the profiles potentially for it so let me know in the comments if that's possible because i would like to know that that's one of my gripes. The other side of things is that I find the rubber feet on this old Weaver, although it does not move, and I mean it will not move. I have never felt it move, and I put a lot of pressure on it, is that I've got a white desk, and the rubber feet mark it with black. comes off quite easily with the cloth, but I'm forever at the moment cleaning my white desk because my old Weaver on a Friday night when I'm out playing with the boys uh, marks my desk. <laughs> so not really a end of the world to know. My main gripe with Razer stuff is their software. That's an absolute stuff I absolutely hate. It reminds me of iTunes. I've forced to use it and I do not like it. And the old Weaver is no exception on this. The Razer software, although it does the basics for what you want from the old Weaver and it's pretty easy to use, it just always feels not right. There's something not right about it. And I just wish they'd make it sync the old Weaver with my Black Widow Chroma. So I have to set a different profile for my Chroma, a different profile for my Black Widow. And I should be able to really just apply the Black Widow, let's say, profile that people make across the old Weaver. It's a keyboard at the end of the day. The other major, well, not major one, the other one is actually fully mechanical, so it is quite clicky and quite loud. Uh, you can hear it generally on my gaming if I'm doing a lot of streaming, and I am looking to do the Stealth Chrome Weaver review going forward. So keep your eyes out for this. I'm going to get one in the next few weeks and compare it against the standard Chroma. So let's start with the pros. The thing I love about this is the customizability of this gaming pad. An example of that is, you know, if you try and push X or C, um, it's very difficult unless you move your thumb under your finger, fingers for WSD. With the Chroma Pad or any gaming pad, it's not just the Chroma Pad, you can pretty much assign those to any key you want. You can move them further on your little finger, you can move it to your thumb, whatever you want. You don't have that kind of awkwardness. You might not feel like it's awkward, but it but it can be. It can be awkward, especially on a tight keyboard. My Black Widow allows me to do that because I can customize any key. Your Razer or you know your Corsair allows you to do that strafe, but the game pad is is. It's, it's more built around your hand. You know, the thumb positions on this thing are crazy. I've got something like six buttons with one thumb. Um, yeah, you could sit around and say, well, I can move my thumb around the keyboard, but they're not, you know, it's not natural. You're not meant to be moving your thumb around to what to you and I and stuff like that. You're meant to be like, you know, I want to move, I don't know, Q to my thumb. I can do that. I can move E to my thumb if I want. I don't have to have those keys there, which you wouldn't do, but you know what I mean. It gives you that functionality, that flexibility. Standard WSD layout is all in one kind of position. I took those like four rows of keys, so from Q to R to A to F to Z to V. You can map that onto this gaming pad, and then you can map all your thumb positions. And then you can add profiles on top of that and macros on top of that. I like the way you can expand and retract the razor or, uh, or weaver so I can make it fit my palm perfectly. I have it quite as a small setting. You know, and you can play around, they can make the thumb position higher, lower, longer, short. Yeah, I like that function. And you can't do that with a keyboard. You can't make it fit your hand. Um, sometimes you can get quite cramped keyboards. I also like the fact it's mechanical. I don't particularly like the sound. I like it if I didn't have to stream or I'd like it if people didn't hear it. Like my girlfriend still complains, she can hear it. I don't know how she can hear it. She must have some kind of flipping 
Batman hearing or Superman hearing because I can't hear with my headphones on, but she can hear it. I think that's for any mechanical keyboard. I'm not particularly picking on Razer here. Um, and I'm looking forward to the stealth. As I said, that's my only gripe, really, or one of my only gripes. The quality on this thing is phenomenal. It's great. I love the way it feels. It's rubber all around, pretty much. The bit the kind of palm rest is, the bit in your palms, rubber, the, the quality of it is good. There is no exception on this. You know, it is wearing a little bit, as I've said, but, you know, hey, what doesn't wear when you've beaten it to death? My Lycos is pretty much worn off, you know. It's that kind of rubber coat when it comes away. And I love the chroma effect. I love the way it, it looks, it feels, it, it just looks cool on my desk. So overall, I'm definitely a fan of the Razer or Weaver. I'm a fan of gaming pads in general. I didn't used to be. I used to be a, a true gaming keyboard and mouse kind of guy. And this is still a keyboard at the end of the day, but it's a bit more customised to your hand. So if you ever got any doubts whether you want a gaming pad or not, I suggest you try one. Whether you try a Razer one or another product. But I definitely suggest you try the Razer. It is very good. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know who else me to review on Tech Tuesday or to show you unboxing or whatever technical wise, kind of like tech gadgets. And I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.